So cast your minds back to when Brazil won everything in Rainbow Six. They won the Invitational two years ago, they won two majors back to back, they permeated every conversation about competitive siege, and every time we criticized them, we got fans in our DMs sending us death threats constantly. It was the life! Just last year, Brazil sent six teams to the Invitational, which was the most of any region by far, and half of them made the top six. But this year, they're only sending four. Which, compared to Europe sending seven, doesn't seem like very much now, does it? Most of them are the heavy hitters. Liquid, W7M, FaZe, Los One, sure, why not? But this isn't the infestation that swarmed around other regions as much last year. Like, this is far more controlled. Yes, the way that BR6 teams were screwed out of SI points last year if they didn't make the top four of a particular stage is the primary reason for this, and it's not entirely fair. That's why Brazil is getting split into its own region apart from LATAM for this upcoming season, but that's for the upcoming season. For right now, they'll just have to put up with only having four teams for this Invitational. Let's start with a group I think most people have high on their lists this year, Liquid, just like every other year. I picked them to win in playoffs last year, I wanted them to win the grand final against Nip the year before. It's both because I think they can legitimately win it, and because I don't know how much longer Paulu and Nesk are gonna play together. Last year, they were top six at the Invitational. They were great in stage one with a semi-final appearance in Charlotte. They missed out on Berlin, but then they were great again after they signed Lagonis in stage three and were one map away from beating BDS and becoming Young Shipping Major Champions. They let BDS take it. From this point on, it's their fault. They're the number three team on defense in the world last year. They have some of the greatest players in the history of the game on their team. And every time they go to land, they keep giving people a reason to think they're going to dominate. And typically they do. So why can't they finish? Why are they like me? <laughs> Getting to a major grand final in their very first stage with Lagonis is a testament to their belief in his vision and their trust in one another. I think Liquid is probably one of two teams at this Invitational that if they don't make the Grand Finals, it's going to be a huge disappointment. The other team is W7M. Yeah, you like that segue? Yeah? Yeah, it's pretty hot. HBO, hire me. This team is world number one for 2022 based on SI points gained. Came out of total obscurity with nothing to lose in stage one and became one of two teams to make it to every major last year. Their early hype was some of the most justified I have ever seen because they were my favorite to win Berlin after I'd really only seen them play for about five months. And now they have a former world champion on their team. Somehow they managed to make their ceiling look higher and higher with each passing week. However, they did hit a wall last year. They are 0-2 in major semifinals against other BR6 teams. They could already be like the greatest third, fourth place team in history. Like if Liquid is already up there for the best second place team next to Evil Geniuses, then W7M is the modern day equivalent of Team Secret from Paris and Raleigh. From a results perspective, not a playstyle perspective. They're scary, they're ruthless, but they're also hotheads and they do have weaknesses. They're a grand final caliber team if they don't crumble just before they make it to the final obstacle. And one of the teams that gate kept them from a grand final last year was FaZe. I'm telling you, man, these transitions are killer. I could have saved Game of Thrones. FaZe is entering a pretty interesting period, kind of similar to when BDS realized they were going to be a second place team forever if they didn't bring in a rookie for a fall. FaZe have realized the same thing, which is why they put cameraman on the chopping block. But, just as a reminder, not like I'm gonna change FaZe Clan's mind based on what I'm about to recite, but the only thing that they did wrong last year with cameraman on the roster was fail to make the Charlotte Major. And to be fair, only one out of the top six teams from SI went to the Major immediately after SI. It was almost like for some reason that playoff stage was cursed. But again, top six at SI, basically won Berlin and made it to quarterfinals of Young Chiping. But funnily enough, despite that timeline for 2022, they weren't even a top four team in BR6 for the whole year. They were just outside of it. So they went, all right, time to find a rookie, and they grabbed Vidiking. He spent most of his time last year on a team called Escolinha de Bubu, which translates to Bubu School, and Bubu is Budega. This was a tier two farm team that was built to be the bane of everybody's existence and they were signed by Magic Squad at the end of the year and Vidiking 
was the captain of that ship. His siege GG rating is a 1.02 on support ops, but I don't know if he's gonna keep on playing support or if the god Souls is gonna stick to that still. But he's widely been brought in for his leadership capabilities, which is good on paper for a team that feels like they need it to take them to the top, but that's a lot of pressure to put on a kid who's never touched tier one. Like, hey, go IGL phase clan in your debut event that also happens to be the world championship. His world's got to be crazy right now, and FaZe might not do nearly as hot as you want them to if he and the rest of the team take a while to get going. The last team I really don't have much to say on, this is Los One. This is the group that won the last- What? No cool segue this time? What's wrong with you? This is Los One. This is the team that won the Latam LCQ. Last year after SI, they built a completely new roster of talent around Lagonis, and they made it to Charlotte, but then they got hit by the same visa problems as W7M and Furia. They had to play groups from Mexico, and then they flew three guys to Charlotte for playoffs. It, it was weird. The exact same five stack was then one place below going to the Berlin Major, and then Lagonis left for Team Liquid, and somehow this team is still one place below going to the Yongshiping Major after they pick up his replacement. And when they got their rebrand, and they played in the LCQ, they beat teams like NIP, Black Dragons, and Furia. So, by all appearances, this is the makings of a pretty solid team that is just outside most people's awareness, but I definitely still tag them as the weakest Brazilian team here. The thing about Brazil is that no matter how many of their teams go to LAN or at what status they're at, they can all be world killers if you're not careful, but this team specifically throughout the year is way down on attack and defense statistics worldwide, and they don't really have any superstar names that kind of jump off the page at you, except for maybe Maya. This is also going to be their first non-scuffed LAN event, because I bet Charlotte was a disappointing nightmare that they want excised from their memory, so just as a general rule, I don't really expect anything from them. That's not saying that I think they're going to get grouped, because I think the group they got put in is actually pretty decent for them to have a shot through playoffs, maybe in lower bracket for a bit, but besides that, nothing really else to say about them. All that said, uh, that's kind of it. I think I've said everything. So where do you rank every Brazilian team that's going to the Invitational this year? Did you notice how I've only said Brazil and not used the term LATAM to refer to this region anymore? Yeah, that was intentional. Until BR6 becomes a separate thing, Brazil is LATAM, and they still have some pretty high expectations on them this year. So let me know what you think of them in the comments, and uh, feel free to hit up my Twitter and my Twitch and this YouTube channel for more in the coming days. Please and thank you. Last breakdown tomorrow. I'm kind of exhausted. See you then. Peace.